I'm going to show you how I teach my students science when it comes to observation using their five senses. And the first one we're going to talk about is the sense of touch. So in front of me I have several items that are, some are rough, some are smooth. And I just put those items out in front of the children and we start talking about rough and smooth. This is a piece of sandpaper. I have the children feel with their hands and we say this is rough, sandpaper is rough. So we start to begin to put them in two groups. So this is the rough group, and then we're gonna take something that's smooth. This is a smooth block, and all the children touch the block, and I talk about how smooth it is. And then we put it in the group that is smooth. Then they pick up another random item. This is a ball that is very rough. So all the students touch it with their hands and say the ball is rough. And so they decide, is it a rough item like sandpaper or a smooth item like the block? They decide that it's a rough ball. Then they take up this jar, this glass jar. They do the same thing. They rub it and feel it, and I say, this glass is smooth. What group does it go into with the, the smooth block or the rough sandpaper? Hopefully, they will put it where the smooth block is. Then they pick up another thing. They pick up this this stone and they feel the stone it's very smooth and we talk about how smooth it is so they decide is it smooth like the glass jar or smooth like the rough sandpaper and they put it in this in the group with smooth they take up this fabric which is very smooth and they pick it up and they touch it same thing the fabric is smooth does it go where the rough sandpaper or the smooth block and they put it in this group they have this, they pick up this sponge and they feel this sponge, it's very rough. Is this rough like the sandpaper or smooth like the block? They put it in the group with the rough. And the last thing, they have a seed and they touch the seed. And is this rough or smooth? And they feel it and they decide, hopefully, that it is rough. And that's how we talk about things. Oh, before that, we'd go outside and we pick up things. Is this a rough thing or is this a smooth thing? They decide, is it rough like sandpaper or smooth like a block? And then they just decide as we go outside the classroom or even in the classroom. And that's how we talk about the observation of touch.